September 21st, St. Matthew, Apostle and Martyr One day, as our Lord was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw, seated in his customs bureau, Levi the publican, whose business it was to collect the taxes from the people for their Roman masters. Jesus said to him, Follow me. Leaving all behind, Matthew arose and did so, thereby giving us all an example of the way in which we should respond to grace. The humble Matthew, as he was thereafter called, tells us himself in his gospel that he was Levi, one of those publicans abhorred by the Jews as enemy of their country, outcasts and notorious sinners, who enriched themselves by extortion and fraud. No Pharisee would sit with one at a table, our Lord alone had compassion for them. St. Matthew prepared a great feast to which he invited Jesus and his disciples with a number of these publicans, who thereupon began to listen to him with attention and joy. It was there, in answer to the murmurs of the Pharisees, saying that this pretend prophet ate with publicans and sinners, that Jesus said, They that are in good health have no need of a physician. I have not come to call the just, but sinners to penance. After the ascension, St. Matthew remained for over ten years in Judea, writing his gospel there in about the year 44, to teach his countrymen that the kingdom of heaven had already been instigated, for Jesus was their true Lord and the king foretold by the prophets. He departed then to preach the faith in Egypt, and especially in Ethiopia, where he remained for twenty-three years. When he resurrected the son of the Ethiopian king who had received him, the miracle brought about the conversion of the royal house and with them the entire province. The king's daughter consecrated herself solely to God with several other maidens. When a young powerful man wished to marry the king's daughter, who was beautiful, St. Matthew invited him to come listen to a discourse he was to make to the community of virgins to hear what he would have to say to them. The suitor eagerly came to listen to St. Matthew as he thought he was going to convince the daughter to marry him. When the apostle extolled the state of virginity, the suitor became enraged and arranged to have him slain as he came from the altar. This is why St. Matthew is sometimes called the victim and martyr of holy virginity. It is said in the constitutions of Pope St. Clement that St. Matthew instituted holy water for protection of soul and body. The prayer he used for the purpose is reported in that document. The relics of St. Matthew were for many years in the city of Nevada in Ethiopia, where he suffered his martyrdom, but were transferred to Salerno in the year 954, where they remained sealed in a cave for over a hundred years. St. Matthew is the patron saint of accountants, Salerno, Italy, bankers, tax collectors, perfumers, and civil servants.